Hi everyone, it's Trip. Time for another food review. And today it's going to be organ organic protein creamy chocolate fudge. I don't know if I'm going to like it. I don't like chocolate milk. I don't really like milk, but I love ice cream. So basically it's kind of like frozen chocolate milk. And I used a, a Ninja Creamery that you can buy online. So I better get busy before it melts. And that's the problem with things that are like ice cream and that can, that can melt when you're doing some kind of a review. So I better go ahead and get busy with this. And please don't forget to subscribe, ring the little bell, like the video if you will, and comment. I want to know if you've tried any of this before, these protein powders, this one specifically, or if you have a, a Ninja Creamery, some kind of a, a, a machine where you make smoothies. Okay. I was prepared, prepared not to like it. Now this is, the first indication is it's pretty good. Yes, I like it. I like it pretty well. I look at some of these things as medicine, in a way. I have to have more protein. The doctors say it. My wife, my, my daughter, the nurse say it. So I'm trying to find ways to get more protein. Yes. I think I can deal with this, but if it was chocolate milk, I wouldn't really like it as well. But with the creamery, there's an ice, there's a setting for ice cream. So that's what I use to make this. I just don't want it to melt. It melts in your mouth, not in your hands. I had such mix misgivings about this, I didn't know if I would like it. Sorry about my voice. I seem to be a little bit weaker today. I don't want to do my Joe Biden imitation. Don't want to upset anybody. This is so cold and creamy. It does have a delicious chocolate flavor. And it's so cold. I can feel it going half the way down. I wish I knew how to edit and I'd make a video where I'm using the Ninja machine, the Ninja Creamery, to make some of these things. So a serving is two scoops, and I use only one scoop for each container of chocolate. This is half of a container. So if there's 21 grams in two scoops, then I'm getting 10 grams. I'm getting 10 grams right now. Right. Two scoops in, in each one of the containers that you use for the creamery. And I have half of a container. So this is actually, actually 10, 
10 grams of protein I'm having right now. Here's a picture of it, close up for you, trying to get the light just right. And let's pick up the protein container. There we are. Now, fake social media smile. Too much. How about that? Somewhere in there, there's a thumbnail. Maybe one like this, instead of holding it up like an idiot all the time. I'll go back and look at it. Oh, is it so cold? I don't know what I'll do in the winter. It's going to freeze me to death on a cold day trying to eat this nice cold <clears throat> ice cream. So yeah, it's like ice cream. I highly recommend it. And I was afraid I wouldn't like it. Okay, I like real ice cream better. There's no sugar in this. But if, if it's a way to get some nutrition, some protein, then good. I think this will be a permanent addition to my health regimen. need protein for gaining weight also or at least trying not to lose any more weight or maybe I can actually have two helpings an entire serving then I'd be getting two ounces so what does this really cost? Got this from Walmart, from the store, not from online. And it cost $21.98. So you add in the tax on top of that. So you can figure that on your own. The tax is different in every state. Okay, so the six grams of a probiotic fiber in here, 21 grams of plant protein, and zero sugar. It's creamy chocolate fudge. 
I'll just show you the the nutrition info right there okay 150 calories so that means I got 75 here I can definitely stand 150 calories and the truth is last week I, I had to add another notch to my belt because my pants were falling off <coughs> this is true I didn't want to. I wanted to see if I could gain my weight back by myself, but I, but I had to add the notch. Unfortunately, okay. Has a well. Hey, I'm trying to find a better magnifying glass too. So I don't know if it's better to express these nutrition things in terms of like percentages or grams. I've always expressed it in terms of percentages most of the time. So it's one gram of saturated fat, that's 5% of your daily value. No cholesterol, got some sodium, uh, zero sugar, 34%. The 21 grams of protein is 34%. So if I had only one, one ounce, because there's two, I mean two scoops, a scoop is actually 23 grams. So if I had only one scoop, then I got 17% of my daily protein needs, right? It has a bunch of iron in it, 35%. And, well, that's 64, 6, 6 6.4 milligrams. And 70 milligrams of calcium, which is 6% of what you need, okay? There's a whole bunch of, uh, of a healthy looking ingredients in here. It's all kind of organic stuff. I won't read all this, but I'll show it to you like that. Maybe you can read that. Or pick some up at the store and check it out more thoroughly. Nearly every one of the ingredients starts with the word organic. So this is from Irvine. Irvine, California. Oh, there's a phone number. I might have asked them something like about other flavors. I think there's maybe strawberry and I know there's vanilla. I don't know about any, anything else besides, besides that. Cleaner ingredients. Powders made from organic pea protein, organic cocoa, organic brown rice, and organic chia seeds. No dairy, no dairy ingredients, no soy ingredients, gluten-free, non-GMO, vegan, no sugar. Yeah, we got that. Okay, our protein, our plant-based protein doesn't give a grit. Our best-selling protein powder is as clean as it gets. Certified USDA organic ingredients, hand selected for maximum nutrition, yada yada yada. 21 grams of oh so smooth protein, 6 grams of probiotic, pro, probiotics and fiber. The suggested usage is 2 scoops and 12 ounces of water or almond milk and shake in a shaker cup or use a blender. Well, I used a blender, but of course you can just mix it up in some, in some, um, some chocolate milk. It really does have a very nice creamy fudge taste. And this is oat milk that I used, that I use in the creamer because it seems to make the, make the ice cream, make it more like ice cream. Our, our relentless pursuit of better nutrition doesn't compromise on taste. And this is apparently, see, Andrew Abraham is the owner, MD, founder, cancer survivor, and food entrepreneur. And I think that's what we'll, where we'll stop today. 
I hope you liked the video and I hope you will try this and let me know what you think about it or if you tried something similar. Peace out.